The Matrix has attacked me. This way? No. If you're listening to this and you think I'm never lucky, I'll tell you why. Because God dislikes you because you're fucking lazy. Start to work. Start to show God the beauty of his own creations. You'd be amazed how lucky you'll become. You have to wake up and say, I don't feel like training, but I must train. I will only drink water. You need to do what you're supposed to do, not what you feel like fucking doing. That's the difference between a man and a fucking child. You do not become a man doing what you feel like doing. You become a man doing what you're supposed to fucking do. The men of the Titanic didn't feel like dying that day. It's your duty. It is your duty to not be a fat piece of shit. People often talk about downward spirals. He got in a downward spiral, he lost his girlfriend, then he started drinking, then he lost his friends, and he drunk more, and then in the downward spiral. You know what else is real? Upward spiral. He started training more, so he had more energy, and he started working more, started making more money, and then he went to a better gym, and then he trained harder, and then boom. Upward spiral is exactly the same. An upward spiral is always fueled by ego. So having ego is not a bad thing. In fact, I encourage every man out there to have an ego. Develop an ego, a massive one, and then work to justify it. cannot give up. Most of you are happy to be losers part-time. You want to escape. You don't want to be a loser anymore. But then that new video game comes out. Ah, I'll just play the video game. I'll just be a loser for two more weeks. Then I'll get back to trying to escape the Matrix. Free. When a rocket is flying out towards the moon to escape the atmosphere, it doesn't fucking pause halfway up the sky, does it? No, it keeps going. You cannot be lazy. No more video games, no more loser antics, no more dumb shit. You are finally in the right place at the right time. You are the only person who can make this work and you're also the only person who can fuck this up. Most of you men watching, at least 99% of you, do the worst of them all. I need to play with my because I'm horny. You are lame. But there was two dudes sitting on the car, another six with them. It was a team of eight people. And I didn't see I, uh, people who see, saw the video and said, oh, you know, the guy you actually knocked out was shorter than you. The guy who I punched second was about six foot one, six foot two. But I didn't know their size. I didn't know who they were from across the street. But I looked at Andrew, no words spoken. We got out and instantly engaged. I'm 20. Do you think boxing is worth it? It seems to be extremely whiskey and you might not make it out with a proper brain. So I look for something else. You haven't got a proper brain to be sending me these stupid ass questions. You know the answer. I might, I'm gonna box, I might make it out, might not make it out with a proper brain. Let me tell you something. If you do not box, you might not make it out of a bad encounter in the world with your fucking life. You might get head stomped, knocked out cold and killed in front of your fucking family if you don't know how to defend yourself. It's a necessary risk. Learn how to fight, learn how to defend yourself. How do you deal with procrastination? Turn off YouTube! Go do something! You know the answer is to stop doing things that waste your time and apply yourself to something important. Now, stop wasting your fucking time. You know, I've never had to deal with procrastination. I've never had to deal with not being motivated because what is the alternative? Literally, be a loser forever? You already know the answer. You don't need me to tell you. YouTube, go do something. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with people?